Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm your host Matis, a long time nootropic enthusiast and health supplement reviewer. Today we're diving into a fascinating topic that I've been eager to share with you all, the nootropic and supplement known as 9MeBC. Now you might be wondering, what is 9MeBC? Well, it's a compound that's been gaining a lot of attention in the nootropic community for its potential cognitive enhancing properties and neuroprotective effects. But does it really live up to the hype? That's exactly what we're going to explore in this video. We'll be breaking down everything from its mechanism of action, the benefits it may offer, its use cases, and I'll also be sharing my personal experience with this intriguing compound. So, whether you're a seasoned nootropic user or just curious about brain health supplements, stick around because this is going to be a deep dive you won't want to miss. Let's get started. Alright, let's start at the beginning. What exactly is 9MeBC and where does it come from? 9MeBC or 9-methyl-B-carboline is a synthetic compound that was first identified in the early 2000s seconds. It's part of a family of compounds known as beta-carbolines, which are found naturally in various plants and animals, and even in the human body. However, 9MeBC itself is not naturally occurring. It was synthesized in a lab setting, and its unique structure and properties have made it a subject of interest for researchers studying neurogenerative diseases and cognitive enhancement. It's important to note that while 9MeBC has shown promise in preclinical studies, it has not yet been extensively studied in humans. Therefore, much of what we know about its effects comes from animal studies and anecdotal reports from the nootropic community. In the next segment, we'll delve into how 9MeBC works in the brain, so stay tuned. Now that we've covered a bit of the history and the origin of 9MeBC, let's talk about what it is and why it's considered a nootropic and supplement. As a nootropic, 9MeBC is believed to have cognitive enhancing properties. 9MeBC, in particular, is thought to enhance cognition by promoting neurogenesis, the growth and development of neurons, and by protecting existing neurons from damage. It's also believed to have a positive effect on the dopamine system, which plays a crucial role in our mood, motivation, and reward response. As a supplement, 9MeBC is often used by individuals looking to improve their cognitive performance, whether that's for studying, work, or just general brain health. It's also been explored for its potential benefits in addressing mood disorders and neurogenerative diseases, although more research is needed in these areas. Remember, while the potential benefits of 9MeBC are exciting, it's always important to approach any new supplement with caution and to consult with a healthcare professional before starting a new regimen. In the next segment, we'll dive deeper into the mechanism of action of 9MeBC, so stick around. Alright, let's dive into the science of how 9MeBC works in the brain. 9MeBC is believed to exert its effects primarily through its interaction with the dopamine system. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter, a type of chemical messenger in the brain, that plays a crucial role in how we feel pleasure, think, plan, and find things interesting. One of the key actions of 9MeBC is its potential to increase the density of dopamine neurons. It does this by promoting neurogenesis, specifically of dopaminergic neurons, which are the neurons in the brain that produce and use dopamine. In addition to promoting the growth of new neurons, 9MeBC also appears to have neuroprotective effects. It's been found to protect dopaminergic neurons from toxicity and damage, which is particularly relevant for conditions like Parkinson's disease, where these neurons are progressively lost. Furthermore, 9MeBC is thought to enhance the function of the dopamine system by increasing the levels of tyrosine hydroxylase, an enzyme that's crucial for the production of dopamine. So, in a nutshell, 9MeBC works by promoting the growth and protection of dopamine neurons and enhancing the overall function of the dopamine system. This is believed to result in improved mood, motivation, and cognitive function. Before we move on to the potential benefits of 9MeBC, let's take a moment to discuss the role of dopamine and neurogenesis in the brain, as these are key to understanding how 9MeBC works. This is the process by which new neurons, or nerve cells, are formed in the brain. For a long time, it was believed that we were born with a certain number of neurons and that was it. But more recent research has shown that neurogenesis can occur in certain parts of the adult brain, most notably in the hippocampus, a region associated with learning and memory. So, why are dopamine and neurogenesis important when we're talking about 9MeBC? Well, as we discussed earlier, 9MeBC is believed to promote the growth of new dopaminergic neurons and protect existing ones from damage. By doing so, it could potentially enhance the function of the dopamine system and, as a result, improve various cognitive functions and mood. Now that we've covered how 9MeBC works in the brain, let's talk about the potential benefits that this nootropic might offer. First and foremost, 9MeBC is most commonly used for its potential cognitive enhancing properties. Given its effects on neurogenesis and dopamine production, it's believed that 9MeBC could improve various aspects of cognitive function, including memory, attention, and learning capacity. 
This makes it a popular choice among students, professionals and anyone looking to boost their mental performance. Secondly, due to its positive impact on the dopamine system, 9-MeBC could potentially improve mood and reduce symptoms of depression. Dopamine plays a crucial role in our mood and motivation, so enhancing its function could lead to an overall improvement in mood and well-being. Lastly, 9-MeBC's neuroprotective effects could potentially make it beneficial for individuals with neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's disease. By protecting dopaminergic neurons from damage, 9-MeBC could potentially slow the progression of these diseases. However, it's important to note that while these benefits are promising, most of the research on 9-MeBC so far has been preclinical, meaning it's been conducted in animals or in vitro. Now that we've covered the potential benefits of 9-MeBC, let's talk about when and why people might choose to use this nootropic. Firstly, individuals looking for cognitive enhancement might choose to use 9-MeBC. This could include students looking for a boost during exam periods, professionals needing to stay sharp for demanding projects, or even older adults seeking to maintain their cognitive function as they age. The potential memory enhancing, attention boosting and learning improving effects of 9MeBC make it a popular choice for these individuals. Secondly, people experiencing mood disorders or simply looking to improve their overall mood might consider 9MeBC. Given its potential to enhance the function of the dopamine system, it could potentially help to lift mood, increase motivation and reduce symptoms of depression. However, it's important to note that anyone with a mood disorder should consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new supplement regimen. Lastly, individuals with neurogenerative diseases, such as Parkinson's disease, might be interested in 9-MeBC due to its potential neuroprotective effects. By protecting dopaminergic neurons from damage, 9-MeBC could potentially slow the progression of these diseases. Now that we've covered the science and potential benefits of 9-MeBC, I'd like to share my personal journey with this intriguing nootropic. I first came across 9-MeBC a few years ago while researching nootropics that could help with cognitive enhancement. As someone who's always looking for ways to boost my mental performance, the potential benefits of 9-MeBC immediately caught my attention. I started with the low dose to see how my body would react and gradually increased it over time. In the first few weeks, I didn't notice much of a difference. But as I continued to use 9-MeBC, I started to notice subtle improvements in my cognitive function. I found that I was able to focus better, my memory seemed sharper, and I felt more motivated and productive. As for mood improvement, I did notice a slight lift in my overall mood and a decrease in feelings of stress and anxiety. However, these effects were subtle and could also have been influenced by other factors in my life. In terms of side effects, I didn't experience any major issues. However, I did notice that I had trouble sleeping if I took 9-MeBC too late in the day, so I started taking it in the morning instead. Overall, my experience with 9-MeBC has been positive. However, I want to stress that everyone's experience with nootropics can be different, and what works for me might not work for you. Now, let's talk about the potential side effects and safety concerns associated with 9-MeBC. Like any supplement or medication, 9-MeBC can have side effects. These can vary from person to person and can depend on factors like dosage, individual sensitivity and the duration of use. Some users have reported mild side effects such as headaches, nausea and restlessness. As I mentioned in my personal experience, taking 9-MeBC too late in the day can potentially lead to sleep disturbances, so it's often recommended to take it in the morning. In terms of safety, it's important to note that 9-MeBC has not been extensively studied in humans. Therefore, the long-term safety of this supplement is not fully known. As always, it's crucial to start with a low dose to see how your body reacts and to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new supplement regimen. As we wrap up our deep dive into 9-MeBC, I'd like to share my personal opinion on its effectiveness and value. From my personal experience and the research I've done, I believe that 9-MeBC has potential as a cognitive enhancer and mood booster. I've noticed subtle improvements in my focus, memory and overall mood since I started taking it. However, it's important to note that these effects were not dramatic and took some time to become noticeable. In terms of value, I think that 9-MeBC could be a worthwhile addition to a nootropic regimen for those looking to enhance their cognitive function or improve their mood. However, given the lack of extensive human studies and the potential for side effects, it's important to approach this supplement with caution. Before we wrap up, I want to take a moment to mention my books on biohacking, nootropics and overall health. If you found this video helpful and you're interested in learning more about these topics, I highly recommend checking them out. In these books, I delve deeper into the science of biohacking, explore a wide range of nootropics and provide practical tips for improving your health and well-being. Whether you're a seasoned biohacker or just starting your journey, I believe these resources can provide valuable insights to help you optimize your health and performance. 
you can find the links to my books in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, don't hesitate to leave a comment. I always love hearing from you.